Hey guys, welcome back to the financial experiment. Today we're taking a look at that one year update of Fundrise. Let's get started. So the first thing to note is that this past year I have invested mostly into the supplemental income REIT, which means that my dividends are going to be high, but my overall growth may not be as large as if I was into a growth portfolio. My first dividend was only 33 cents back when I only had about $500 and that was actually a, a mixed portfolio of growth and supplemental income. It wasn't until a few weeks later that I started to invest a lot more, which meant that my dividends got a lot bigger. So it went from $33 to $42 back to $30 and I actually was expecting my last dividend to be a lot lower because of what's happening around the world right now and especially when compared to my other REITs. Sure, $30 is not as much as $42, but is it 63% less? I don't think so. Especially because MFA and MITT along with a couple of other REITs that I'm holding aren't paying any dividends, period. So before I go back to this chart, I need to explain what this little dip is. This is back in, what is it, April 9th when I received my dividends and instead of reinvesting them, I wanted to have them deposited straight into my bank account just to see if I could. I, I just wanted to see it. Right? I just wanted to feel what it would be like to receive that money into my bank account and it felt pretty good but it also kind of felt not great because then this money was not being reinvested at least not into Fundrise. Uh, I think what I did with that money is I put it into Robinhood and then who knows what I bought with that. So speaking of Robinhood I think that it's important to compare right now the performance between REITs and Fundrise because if you're looking into Fundrise you probably know what a REIT is and you're trying to compare between REIT or Fundrise to see which is a better option for you. Do you want the flexibility to pull out money whenever you want or do you want the safety of Fundrise which we're seeing here. This is very safe. Yes, it's not a diagonal line like you see here where it's going up and I'm up over 100% year over year. You're not going to get that in Fundrise. You're just not. But you're also not going to get this volatile market, right, where it goes up, it goes down, whatever. If we look at here, the average uh, for year to date, I'm up 4.1%. So I'm assuming that by the end of the year, I'm going to be up maybe like 7.5%, which seems to be exactly what I've been up over the past year. So pretty consistent 7.5% gains. Is that amazing? Nah. But am I happy to see that this is a stable investment whenever the stock market decides to take a dump and my REITs are down more than 60% and they're not paying dividends? Yeah. So for that reason, I, I don't regret having this money into Fundrise. I'm probably not going to invest more into Fundrise, but I'm also not urgent to, to withdraw my money. Well, that wraps up this video. I know it was quick, but I don't want to waste your time either. So if you like this video, please give me a virtual high five by clicking that like button down below. And if you want to see more updates on Fundrise, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.